Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to run leads generation ads on Facebook. For example, you own a business and you want to get some contact information of people that may be interested in what you offer. So in this guide, you'll see how to create ads on Facebook with a sign-up form, so anyone interested can leave contact details in it. It will help you to reach your potential customers. So let's get started and set up your first ad campaign. First, you need to log in in your Facebook account on facebook.com slash ads manager. Next, select the type of ads you want to run. Let's suppose I have a hair salon and I would like to get more clients from a particular area. Click Create, choose Lead Generation and continue. Here you should give a name to your campaign. I name it Haircut Lead Generation. The next step is setting an ad budget. You can choose daily budget or lifetime budget. I'm going to stay on daily. And here enter the sum of money that you want to spend on your ad every day. Let's say $5. Once you did it, click Next. Then you should choose a Facebook page here. If you already have one, just click here and select the page you want. If you don't have a ready Facebook page, you can click here and create it. It's quite easy. You need just to enter name and category, add profile picture here and create page. I already have one, so I don't need to do this. After choosing or creating page, you need to accept the terms and conditions of Facebook. Just click here and then agree here. It's very important, guys, so don't miss it. Now you can move on to selecting audience. Here you can choose which target audience you want to reach. First, you need to select the location. Click here and enter the location you want. Suppose my hair salon is in Manhattan, so I want to show ads for people living there only. Next, select the age group that probably is interested in your product or service. Click Edit and do it. Let it be from 18 to 50. Also, here you can select the gender. So, now your ads will be shown only for people who live in Manhattan, aged from 18 to 50. You can change anything to make it more suitable for your case. Click Next. Next step is designing your ad. You can do it here. First, give it a name. Then click Add Media and select what you are going to add – an image or a video. I'm going to add an image. Select the media and click Next. The image should be clear and attractive to draw people's attention to it. Here you can see a preview of your ad. Here enter a primary text. Usually it contains explaining the needs in a positive way. I'll type here Enter the summer with a new haircut. Here add a headline and description. Finally, you should provide a call to action. As I want people to sign up, I'll leave it like that. Now let's create sign up form where people leave their details. Click Create form, enter a name for it. For example, discount for a haircut. In the intro section, enter the heading you want and a description. Be prepared for summer. Come and get new stylish haircut with a free consultation from a professional about hair care. After that, click Questions. Here give people information why they need to fill in your form. People are more likely to share personal data if they get something in exchange. For instance, I offer discount for a haircut. Here choose what type of information you want to collect. Besides name and email, I want to collect phone number. So I click Add Category and in Contact Fields choose what I need. In the same way you can add anything you want. As we collect personal data, we need to provide a privacy policy that explains how we handle this data. To do this, click here. If you have a website, you probably have a page with this information, so you can just add a link to it. 
Here, enter the link text – Privacy Policy. Next, move on to the completion section. Here, enter the message you want to show after a person signs in. In this field, select Call to Action. I want people to visit my website, so I add a link to it here. Now it is almost ready, so make sure your ad is good enough and click Publish here. And again. If you do it for the first time, you need to choose a payment method and enter your credit card details. Facebook will automatically take a daily budget you've set. Your ad will be published as soon as it is reviewed by Facebook. It usually takes less than an hour. The status will change to active. It means that your ad is successfully published and now it's live on Facebook. The data you collected with your ad stays on Facebook. Click here and then Download. Choose CSV and the file will be downloaded. But there is much easier way that allows you to get this data automatically to other app and not download it manually. Let's say I want to get all the collected data to Google Sheets. For this I need to set up an integration. I'll show you how to do it using the app way. First you need to sign up. After you've done this, go to the tab My Apps and add Facebook and Google Sheets. Then you need to connect them. Let's start with Facebook. When you click this button, you need to authorize your account. It's important that this user should have access to the Facebook Ads Manager page in which the lead form is done. Let's connect Google Sheets. Click the button Connect. On this page, you should choose which account you want to connect. Here tick All, it's important, and click Continue. It returns you to Appyway and you'll see the green text again. Now we can start to configure the integration. We should create a way. You can give it the name which you need. For example, Facebook and Google Sheets. Next, you should specify the trigger. Here choose Facebook lead forms. Now the new lead will be the trigger for the action. Next, choose the page and lead form from the list of ones that you have. Now we need to find Facebook lead form testing tool. It's a standard Facebook tool. Go to this page and in the first sentence there is a link on the tool itself. Click it. This tool simulates the lead in order to check that everything works. I choose this page and this form and click button Create Lead. And the tool will send me a testing lead. After that, return to Appyway and click Update Available Fields. The data has appeared. You can create different questions in your lead form and everything you need will be here. Now let's continue with the action. Choose a service here. In our case, it's Google Sheets. Here choose Create Spreadsheet Row. It means when you get a new lead, the system will fill in the rows in the sheet with information. I've created a spreadsheet with name Facebook leads. In the first row, I've given names to three columns – name, email and phone number. Then test the connection and after that click Update Available fields again. First, select the spreadsheet that you need, then select Worksheet. Here you can have a lot of worksheet, but you have to choose that one in which you want to add information. For me, it will be sheet number 1. Click the plus sign and choose full name for name, email for email and so on. Then click Test and Activate. If you want to edit it this way, you can find it in the tab My Ways, deactivate it and change everything you need. But don't forget to activate it again. Now we should create test lead one more time. First delete it and then create it again. Please keep in mind that transmission of the data may take a little time. Sometimes it comes immediately, sometimes you have to wait for a while. The time of waiting is up to 15 minutes. I go to the Google Sheets and you can see that the information is here. This is data of test lead which Facebook has sent. Name, email, phone number. Real leads will appear in row below in the same way, filling in the sheet. 
This way you can easily connect Facebook to Google Sheets, automate your work and save plenty of time. If you need some other integration, go to the Epiway website, look through the categories, choose appropriate software for you and make your business process better.